Okay, I thought today we could talk about jeans. Warning, this one is gonna run long. I think I have 11 pairs to talk to you about, so let's get started. With each pair of jeans, I'm just gonna discuss any sizing advice that I have, like the shoes that I like to wear it with, any styling advice that I have, and let's get started with kind of the jeans. <laughs> these are the Agoldi 90s pinch waist jeans. These are just the normal regular length. I will say that my advice with these is to size down. My actual waist measurement is 29 inches. I wear basically all Agoldi jeans in a size below, if not two sizes below, but we'll get to that. Um, this style in particular, I wear one size down, so these are a 28. Um, I'm five foot seven, and I feel like these are just the perfect length for me. I personally wear them with everything. There are like no rules that I have for myself with this style. Um, it's just kind of a very straight leg. They're still like semi-fitted on the butt. They're definitely a little bit more fitted when I get them straight out of the wash, you know what I mean? But in terms of what shoes I wear them with, pretty much any of my flats. Um, I really love them with these suede loafers at the moment, but like a ballet flat, a flip-flop in the summer like I wear these with everything <laughs> although if I was to wear a heel I would wear them with my longer length a goldie 90s pinch waist jeans so we'll get to that in a minute I don't know the exact color of this wash but I will find it for you I'll put everything in the description box and my Instagram stories but I have this wash and then I also have them in this washed black I find a black denim that runs a little bit more gray just a bit easier to style than say something that is quite solidly black. I just find that the black rinses out so quickly anyway and this kind of give that like oh vintagey style feel. <laughs> I think this colour pairs so nicely with like a denim on top. See great with a denim shirt but also really nicely with a camel. I feel like this mango waistcoat with my M Parsons sandals was like such a summer look for me. Same sizing info as the ones before I go one size down and I personally like these with any of my flats. If I want to wear a heeled boot like so I tend to wear my Goldie's 90s pinch waist jeans but these are the long versions so like I said five foot seven. If I'm wearing flats, these puddle a little bit on the floor. I tend to wear them more with heels. I've got them in the indigo and also more of a true black as well. I weirdly find the true black ones to be a lot thinner than the other ones that I own. I'll make sure when I link them, I'm linking like the exact ones. That actually makes these quite a nice ones to wear during the summer months. And but yeah, these are almost like my dressing up jeans, a really good kind of dupe fills the same hole as something like the Kate Danielle jeans. Like this feels like my version of those, which I have previously owned and I did sell because I just found them really quite uncomfortable. These, I find all the Agoldi jeans super, super comfy. I'm quickly gonna brush over my two vintage pairs because I know it's annoying. You can't find these exact pairs, but just to quickly talk you through them, I found them in the Vintage Twin in New York. So expensive, but such a cool experience in that it feels very personalized. There is someone working with you literally to find your perfect vintage jeans. Um, both of the pairs that I bought were vintage Levi's 501s. These are like, despite the wash feeling quite casual, I feel like these for me are like dream kind of going out jean. They're very long, so I love to wear them with some heels or like heeled boots if possible. Um, but yeah, these make me feel like, very 90s airport chic and I love them and they feel like they were worth every penny and then these are the other pair again from Vintage Twin again Vintage Levi's 501s but a much more classic blue wash I love the fade on these like these have been loved they tell a story these sit slightly lower on the waist than other styles that I have but they're still quite like fitted in the back and actually these are a really nice length on me in that they just graze the floor with these flats on this is probably how i would wear this just in a very very casual way i love these they're from suzanne and they're actually called the wide leg trouser but they're just a very wide leg jean i'm having a great time trying on my jeans on <laughs> these are some of my favorites right now i really love the high waist super long leg I'm, i mean i might get these tailored would i i'm not sure i would because i think i'd be getting them tailored to literally take off like half a millimeter or something and i like that actually these work really lovely with a heel i've just got them on with flats now I, I like them with flats i love them with a heel but then i also like that with flats it just feels a little bit more relaxed. These for me, I actually sold my Levi's 501s. The original pair that I had, they just started to make me look like I was wearing a nappy all the time. These are like my replacement of those and that they feel a bit boyfriend fitty. They feel really relaxed. Um, yeah, I just, I absolutely adore wearing these. Like these are one of those jeans that when you put them on, you're like, oh, I feel good in these. I will say to, if you're normally like a 12 in Suzanne, I would go for a 10, I would size down if you want them to be higher waisted. If you want them really low, really baggy, stick with your 
your normal size but I would go down one size to have that kind of high waist but still very wide leg feel. These are actually a really similar style to the Cezanne ones they're called the Agoldi low slung jeans um, I would actually recommend going two sizes down in these like I said I measure a 29 inch waist but these are actually a 27 um, and I'd say they're still like roomy they are still very very roomy they're just the exact type of jeans I was looking for and that I wanted something bright white that really wide leg relaxed feel these are almost a little bit horseshoey a little bit barrel leg but not. <laughs> I feel like when I wear these I can participate in that trend but in a way that feels a little bit more timeless for me. Um, yeah they could do with a little bit of an iron I will admit. They're a tad thinner than the other Goldies that I have um, but overall just yeah I'm dreaming of wearing this kind of outfit. I almost forgot these. I would wear them in the exact same way as the Goldie pair. These are from Mother. These are the Spinner Skimp jeans I think. Slightly cropped, wide leg and more of a creamy finish rather than a bright white. I've gone two sizes down in these as well so they're a 27 but I would say there ain't no space in there like in, in a good way these are fresh out of the wash there's no like gaping at the back um like I sit down in them comfortably it's fine but they're definitely not as roomy as other pairs that I own um but yeah can spring come so I can wear this thanks Okay, these are very divisive whenever I show these in a video, but these are the Agoldi Dame jeans. Extreme wide leg. Like, we are talking wide, wide leg here, just like, whoop. they're huge. They're very comfortable. Um, they actually remind me a lot of the Agoldi low slung waist jeans in that you need to size down kind of two sizes. I'm wearing these in a 27, and I would say they're still very, very roomy. And then I guess the idea is that you can wear them a little bit lower waist if you want. They're long. Like I said, I'm five foot seven. I really, I love like wearing these with a heel I can wear them with a flat I they, they puddle a little bit but I prefer them with a heel I'd really like an occasion to wear these like this like in that kind of high low way wearing them with something quite tight on top I feel like adds balance sometimes I do wear them with something really oversized on top and just lean into that oversized look but I think I prefer it with something slimmer on top and also just kind of plain let like these do the talking and like yeah can, can I be invited to an occasion where I could wear a cute little dinky like mule heel but like, that'd be really cool <laughs> in a similar vein are these jeans from a line these are called their Jacinda jeans I would recommend going one size down again just to get that more high waist fit um if you go your normal size they're just going to sit a little bit lower which again has its pros and cons if it's going to sit a little bit lower they're not going to be as cropped as they are on me but I like that high waist feel and then having them a little bit cropped and just having the volume like these jeans are a look like these jeans tell the story again one of those those kind of statement denim pieces but I try and wear it with quite basic pieces on the top and the bottom I really like them with these flattered slip ones I just think they add that like ladylike feel and just kind of finish it off nicely one more pair and actually this is a pair that I don't particularly love but I'm keeping from a archival archival perspective <laughs> trying these on after trying on all of my other jeans makes these stick out like a sore thumb but we all know that the trends go round, everything is cyclical. There will be a moment where I want a slim fitting cropped jean, possibly again, and if I do, and now I'm going to want these. These are the redone high rise stovepipe jeans, but these are the ones I think they were called the comfort stretch. It's like so stretchy, like so, so unbelievably comfortable. Quite a pale wash, got that raw hem on the bottom. It feels like they have an important place in the museum of me, you know? <laughs> I'm not really sure how I would style them right now because they just don't feel very me right now, but feel like a good to have item. I hope you enjoyed this epic, probably super long look at every single pair of jeans that I own. I'll make sure that everything is linked in my Instagram stories and I'll make a super bumper description box as well. So this might be a good one to save. Um, but thank you so much. I hope you have a good day. I'll speak to you soon. Bye.